So, to change a blade is a very straightforward procedure. We'll remove the mitre slide out of the way, and the next thing we need to do is remove the fence assembly. Now, it's simply done just with some wing nuts underneath the front edge of the table. And we can slide out the whole fence. We now want to open the doors, having disconnected it from the power first, albeit the interlock switches will isolate the machine if you were to forget to do that. So with the doors open, release a little bit of tension, but we've got a quick release lever on the back which we can actually release one way or the other. That will enable us then to slide the blade away from the saw. The new bandsaw blade when it comes will be folded up. Be careful as you actually open it up because being spring steel they do want to tend to jump forward and the last thing you want is a bandsaw blade actually hitting you in the face. So we can open that up and the blade is now ready to put on. So to reinstate the blade, making sure the teeth are pointing downwards on the right hand side, slide the blade through the table. The easiest thing is to hook it onto the top wheel, bring it through the guard, down the side of the casing in here and hook it onto the lower wheel. Now just giving a few turns to the wheel we want to position the blade so that the teeth are just off the front edge of the rubber tire on the wheel. Being a skip blade, every other tooth is set in the opposite direction. If we push it too far back, it will take the set out of the blade. So with the blade on, make sure the teeth are just forward of the rubber wheels on both wheels before bringing the tension lever back. That will adjust and then we can just fine tune the tensioning using the top wheel to suit the blade we've got. In this occasion it's a half inch, so we're setting it to approximately the 13mm setting. We can then dry run the wheels by hand, just to make sure that it's running true. If minor adjustments need to be made to the bearings, undertake those, ensuring that the bearings are behind the teeth, so that it doesn't take the set out of the teeth.